Alright, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now if you're not subscribed already, don't hit that subscribe button. Uh, like, comment down below and do all that good stuff. And let's get straight into today's video. Alright, so for today's video, it's been about a month, a bit over a month since we last did our tier list. Uh, we do need to update it. We do have the new Nika Luffy uh, form, awakening, whatever you want to call him. Added to the game finally. Uh, we do need to move around some characters because Chopper and Frankie are now more accessible. So you can get these two much easier than you could before. Chopper, you couldn't get him for five months in the game. So since Christmas till now, you couldn't get him in the game. This is why these two have been very low. Uh, they've been in decent tier because there's no point in bumping them up in tiers if you can't even get the character in the game, in my opinion. So we will be bumping these two up and we'll be moving some characters around based on the new changes to the C17 chests. So we're making this tier list because tomorrow or within the next few hours, I think in 3 hours and 30 minutes for me, or I think within the next 3 hours, everyone will be given a C17 character for free of their choice. As you can see, you get 150 chests here, and you need 150 uh, shards of one character. And if we go to our backpack, we can see that they have finally updated these chests uh, to add the new characters to them. So before, it was just up until uh, Monkey D Dragon. So you could only get up until uh, Monkey D Dragon. You couldn't get Law, you couldn't get General Frankie, you couldn't get Christmas Chopper, you couldn't get Rosina, and you couldn't get Uryo Hiyori or Sir Crocodile, sorry. So now that they've finally added these characters, these amazing characters, to the pool, uh, they're much more accessible for players to get. So we'll be bumping up some of these characters in the tier list because of this change. So let's go back to our tier list. Alright, so we've also added a new tier, as you can see, God tier. Uh, just for basically Nikafru Luffy, as he is absolutely insanely broken. God. Uh, he is a god, basically. So we'll be putting this man right up here. Because he hits so hard, does so much damage. He also supports the team so much, like invincibility to a character on his basic ability. He's just absolutely insane. Like, by far the best character in the game. Obviously, because he is an awakened character, so it makes sense to put him in the highest tier. Now, this tier, uh, we're not really going to change it because the ordering doesn't matter in this tier. Uh, Nami should always be, in my opinion, your first ever C17 character. She's by far the best early game character in the entire game. AoE Silence, uh, just absolutely amazing. Uh, these three can be interchanged. You can put Hiori here, here, and you can put Law like at the start. It really depends on what type of team you want to go for. Uh, Law completely destroys the block raid team. Uh, Hiori, absolutely amazing as Sand team, and very good as we've seen with Nikafru Luffy. She's an absolutely amazing support character. Insane healing, uh, so many buffs to your team, and then you have the rage manipulating god himself, Sir Crocodile, which can pretty much be on any team. So, Crocodile can, yeah, these three inter interchangeable, they just must have characters, in my opinion. And then next up, we're gonna be moving General Frankie up to very good and Chopper as well. Um, I do think Kaido Dragon Form and General Frankie are probably the best here. Uh, you could put General Frankie here, Kaido Dragon Form here, it's completely up to you. I think I'll put General Frankie there. I think Chopper definitely is third above Yamato for sure. Uh, Sanji Gem is obviously a bit low because he's much better with Nami and the... If you want to see my full details on where all these characters are, uh, put on the tier list. Uh, you can check my previous tier list video, the April 2022 video, and I explain basically everything. So we're basically going to move these two up because they're more accessible and you can finally get them in the game. Um, 
I will also move Fujitora up a little bit and I will be moving Katakuri up to probably the highest in decent because he is such an amazing early game character. Uh, some people do say he's very good, maybe he's very good, like high, very good, but the problem with Katakuri is he's all about luck. He has like a 20% chance to negate 60% damage. And then his flag, he has like a certain amount of chance to... Yeah, it's just all about chance with him, with his abilities and stuff. I think that's his passive, his 20% to, uh, to take 60% less damage. So, I don't know. I can't really recommend him... Like as higher tier because it's just all about chance to get his maximum potential. Same as Fujitora. This is why Fujitora was high, highest and okay because his ult is all about chance. It's like a 40, it's like 20% or whatever chance it is. I'm not gonna go through and find that out. The video would be way too long. But you get what I mean. They're just all about chance. He is definitely higher than Shanks for sure. Um, let's see, Katakuri, yeah, Rosen, he's more of a PvE character. I think this should, the rest of them should be fine. I think they're just the ones that I wanted to go up. General Frankie, Trade Dragon Form, yep, this. Yeah, the rest of them should be fine. I think I just wanted to move up Katakuri, uh, General Frankie, Chopper. And Fujitora. Fujitora might even. Mm, I think Mihawk could be moved up as well. Could have Mihawk up here. He's very good against the block rate team. He can completely ignore block rate. So he's very good in the strength team. Fujitora is probably up here. They could be above Shira actually. Probably around here maybe. Monkey King Luffy may be down here, I'm not sure. It, as I said, the, the ordering doesn't really matter. You just want to be focusing on... Obviously, if you can always get Nika Fruit Luffy, get him, obviously. But I don't think he's going to be very accessible in the game. I think he's only going to be on group events, in my opinion. I don't think that they'll put him on uh, easier events to get him because of how broken he is. So I think he will be very hard to obtain in the game for at least the first few months. Uh, but yeah, you mainly want to focus on the god must have and very good tiers. Uh, they can... It doesn't matter what ordering they are. All these characters are absolutely amazing. You can't go wrong with them, so... So that should be it for our tier list update for May. Um, as I do get asked the question, like, is this character good? Uh, which C17 character should I get? Like, guys, it all depends on how you want to play the game. Like, what team do you want? What characters do you want? The number one rule in the game, obviously, is to always make sure you're enjoying the game and having fun. Always go for the characters that you are going to have fun with, you love in One Piece. So, it's completely up to you. If you're full competitive, then I completely understand the question. Because you do want to understand what the best meta teams are. But, yeah, it's completely up to you guys. Uh, you can't go wrong with any of these must-have characters. Very good characters, decent characters are okay. Katakuri, obviously. Uh, the top end is very good uh, for six and fifth slots of teams you can put these characters in uh, okay characters these are the ones if you really like them sure you can upgrade them like if you really like characters your favorite character for sure go for it uh, these characters down here don't invest at all you can get them for the affinity or links of these higher characters sure later on after you've got your main team uh, pick them up but don't go straight for them. The ones you want to go straight for are these ones right up here. Up the top. The top three tiers. These are the ones you want to go straight for. The first C17 characters you want to get. Uh, and then get the affinity characters of those C17 characters of your main team after. So that's the order of what you want to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, just a quick update to the tier list, uh, we'll do another update next month when the new character comes out. There's a new character every month, and we'll see how the meta changes and everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.